channel. Ignore Thumper in the back there. Uh, that's my daughter Oakley. She's having hot chocolate and she's drank all the hot chocolate and now she's just at the marshmallows, so she's eating that. My name is Megan. I am a mama of two. Oakley is my youngest. She just turned four and then I have a six-year-old who I sent upstairs for a little bit. Her name is Harper. Um, I am a nurse, although I haven't been nursing like at all lately. I've been trying to get like my YouTube up and about and just kind of trying to focus on like a dream come true kind of thing. So anyways, thank you all so much for coming here today. I am so excited for today's video. It is in collab with The Lovely Life. I am going to have everything linked down below. She is going to be putting together a Christmas cookie playlist for you guys to go and check out. So for today's video, um, I didn't want to just do one recipe because uh, you guys know like I'm all in or not at all. So I'm gonna be making three cookie recipes. We are gonna be doing hot cocoa cookies, uh, Christmas monster cookies, and eggnog cookies. Now I know eggnog is like a controversial thing. Not everybody loves it. I love it. Um, so I think I'll do that one last in case it's not your thing but you still get to experience the other ones. We'll see. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for coming here. I'm gonna, like I said, leave all the information down below in my description box. So after you're done with my video, make sure you go over to D Lovely Life and check out her Christmas cookie playlist. And happy Monday, guys. Let's go get baking. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And I'd love to have you guys stick around. There's tons of like good motivation content going on in this channel, like cooking, cleaning, grocery hauls, parties. So it's definitely a fun place to be, a positive place. We do not accept negativity around here. So anyways, enough rambling. Let's go ahead to the kitchen and get baking. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the hot cocoa cookies. Um, I might have to convert some of this to a voiceover because I have somebody here who's a very loud child. Anyways, you're gonna need flour. I'm actually so excited for these cookies. I have never, ever, ever had them, made them, tried them, nothing. But who doesn't love hot chocolate in the winter time? Anyways, you're gonna need some flour, some hot chocolate powder. This is honestly my favorite. This is the best hot chocolate powder, like, ever, period. It's pretty much all I buy. Uh, some vanilla, salt, brown sugar, two eggs. These are what it calls for, mallow bits. Um, thankfully, I have some i know that they're getting really hard to find um these expired i think probably um yep like a while ago <laughs> it's okay they're not opened we're going with it i really don't think they're gonna like they're not bad um sugar baking powder baking soda a whole cup of butter which i've it's totally softened i've had it out for a while and I'm kind of a doorknob. I thought that I had lots of chocolate chips, but it turns out I use them all, like all my regular milk chocolate. So we are just gonna do a combination of whatever I have. There's some uh, butterscotch, mini semi-sweet. These are heart. I think these might, are they milk? If they're milk, fine. White chocolate chips I don't love. And then these ones are so good, these Hershey's, Hershey's Kisses ones. But anyways, I'll just do a combination and Go from there. So let's go ahead and get on to making these cookies. Okay, so this is going to be the only part of the video where I have to do a voiceover. Um, I had Oakley with me, which is totally fine. She wanted to help, but she's just so loud that it, I don't even know if you guys could hear <laughs> what I'm trying to explain or whatever. So that okay, I'll just cut the audio just out of this one part where she was here, let her help, let her chit chat, and then she really wanted to help me mix like the flour and the dry ingredients, so I let her do that, and then she was happy to help and took off. So the rest of the video will be me talking in like real time. So for this recipe, um, we're just gonna cream all of our wet ingredients first, our butter, which I had softened. I said in my last video, I've been softening it in the microwave lately, not turning it on just putting the sticks of butter in the microwave and they come to room temperature so much faster in there than on the counter. So anyways, uh, one cup of butter with my sugars and two eggs, a splash of vanilla, which you'll hear me later. Like I just, <laughs> I don't think, I don't even know if you guys have ever seen me actually measure vanilla. It's just not, 
in my to-do. So anyways, after all the wet is combined, we're gonna set that to the side and then we're gonna get working on our dry ingredients. So of course, we are just gonna start with flour and make a ginormous mess as we go. You guys are actually gonna have to let me know down below. Do you prefer, I personally prefer when I do this style of video where I've just made all my cuts, it's sped up and I'm doing a voiceover, or do you prefer, like, like let me know later in the video after you've watched the rest of it, but do you, do you like it when I just stand and kind of talk in real time? I had a lot of comments on the last one or people reaching out or messaging me mm -hmm. that they loved watching me talk and bake at the same time because they just thought I was apparently so funny. <laughs> So thank you guys for that. Like, it felt good to hear that. Here, I'm just struggling with some baking soda here. Like, it's no big deal. Um, so please let me know down below what style you like because both styles are in this one video. So you guys are just getting like two birds, one stone type thing. So here's my little Oakley. It's just Sunday. This is the only one day a week that we have to rest. So if the girls wanna wear their jammies, they wear their jammies. Saturdays are busy for us. Um, Saturdays, the girls have soccer at 8 and 9 a.m. You guys, soccer at 8 a.m. on a Saturday, I swear, is torture for parents. It's like we haven't been through enough Monday through Friday getting them up for school. But on Saturdays, our mornings start even earlier than a school day. It's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, Sundays, we just rest. I was exhausted this day. I helped host my sister's 50th birthday party just the day before. So I was so tired. I wanted to do nothing more but rest with them. But, oh, good job, honey. That looks really good. So Oakley's here, see? <laughs> she's, just, she's always talking. Um, so as I helped host my sister's birthday party, it was so much fun. She was so happy. It was so nice to see. But I was on my feet all day yesterday as well. So today, getting these cookies done um they're all bagged up they're ready to go in the freezer now and then at christmas which is super soon here i'll be able to just pull them out and make different like gift boxes for people so i'm really excited about that this dough has to chill for half an hour i had put it outside which i'll put another recipe outside later you'll hear me say but i had it out for a while probably about an hour and it was borderline frozen it was really 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 hard to scoop out so we're just gonna speed it up here so I don't <laughs> drown you guys with my struggling but anyways let's uh I'm gonna cut out the sound thank you guys for being here and uh, let's watch me bake Okay, the hot cocoa cookies are out of the oven. I have not tried them yet. They look good. They don't quite look like the photo. They're a lot lighter, but anyways, it doesn't matter. They look really good. That was the second batch, and the first batch is over here. So, like I said, these recipes made a lot of cookies. Mm. They kind of remind me of like an ice cream scoop. Does that not look like an ice cream scoop? Totally does. Okay, now we're gonna do the um, monster cookies. This is a half-baked harvest recipe. I love her stuff. Like, love, love, love. So, I'll run through quickly what we need. Um, it's honestly a lot of very similar ingredients. That's what you get with cookies, but in the end, they're gonna turn out to be totally different. <laughs> so, baking soda, baking powder, oats, flour, vanilla, another cup of butter. Mine is already softened, as same with the other blocks. Um, pretzels, I was gonna like omit these, but no, I will smash them and put a little bit in. Um, calls for some holiday M&Ms, so we just have some milk chocolate ones. I did buy 
the holiday peanut ones, but I'm gonna put those ones out at Christmas. Um, chocolate chips, this is all I'm working with. Oh, it wants white chocolate chips as well, I think, so I'll grab those. Salt, it wants two eggs and then one egg yolk. You guys, I'm dumping all three eggs in. I am not separating those, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not today, not today. Um, sugar, brown sugar, and I think that's about it. Okay, the kids are upstairs, so maybe I can actually talk to you guys for a little bit as I do this. We'll see, it's not gonna last. Oakley thought I was done making cookies after the last batch. I'm just gonna let her think that so I can do this in silence. Okay, anyways, uh, same as usual, we're gonna beat together our butter with our sugars. And then usually you combine your dry ingredients in a different bowl and then put them together. This recipe says you can just dump the dry ingredients in with the wet as you go. So I love that for me. So let's get this ridiculously soft butter. You guys, it looks nauseating. Get this in the bowl. It's like a soup. Oh, that. That one just did it itself. Excellent. Trash these. All right, how much sugar do I need? Half a cup of white sugar. And a whole cup of brown sugar. That sounds backwards to me, but whatever. I didn't make the recipe. I'm just doing what I'm told. Okay. For these, oh my gosh! Oh, I'm gonna freeze probably quite a bit of these cookies, almost all of them. And I'm gonna put together a little Christmas package parcel to hand out for people on Christmas. Here, have my shitty bakery <laughs> and vanilla. I'm not even gonna look to see how much vanilla. It's always about the same. Even if it tells me it wants half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon, one teaspoon, it just gets it. One of those is good. Okay, let's mix this. That'll do. It wants you to add in the eggs one at a time. I will not. Um, I mean, I'll add them one at a time, but I'm not gonna add one and mix and add one and mix. I have two ticking time bombs upstairs named Harper and Oakley. I need to get as much done before they get down here. Oh. Do you guys enjoy baking with your kids? I, I do if I have the time for it. And I don't mind them helping mix, but when I'm trying to get a video done and I have a deadline, it's a little hard. Like I said, it wanted two eggs, one egg yolk, everything added one at a time and mixed. We're gonna stip, skip, stip. We're gonna stip that whole scab. We're gonna skip that whole step. <laughs> Good enough. Let's add everything else in. My hands are wet, I just rinsed them. Um, what am I supposed to do? I just read that and I already forgot what it said. Ooh. Fill this container. One. Don't go anywhere. Two teaspoons. Both. Where's my teaspoon? One, two, good enough. Two of these, if you guys saw a minute ago, I got my teaspoon stuck in here. Don't do that to me. Why? Two. Should I mix this or add in the oats? I'm gonna add in the oats and then mix it. I don't care what it says. Whatever. What a mess. What a mess. It wants me to fold in all of the chocolate chips and everything. Did you guys see how hard I was struggling to fold in all the chocolate chips and marshmallows on that last recipe. I'm gonna use this thing. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Okay, I gotta get it all and dump it all in. Ah. 
actually, you know what? Let's put in some butterscotch. This could be a bad decision. I'm gonna have to replenish my chocolate chip stuff. It wants half a cup of white. I don't know what this is. Whatever. That might even be more than half a cup. And then it wants all of these beautiful holiday M&Ms. You know what, it's probably gonna be, it's gonna be the bag. It wants one and a quarter cup of the bag. Mm. You guys remember my last video I was cleansing? I ain't this time. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna do a handful of these um, pretzels. It wants, it wants a cup. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just gonna do that and just smash those with something. Sure, that works. Well, don't do that. Let's see what kind of glue Addison has. You can put it back together. <laughs> okay, there. You got any supersonic glue in the garage? Supersonic glue? Yeah. I made a boo boo. Here comes a tyrant. There she is. Mama's breaking stuff. Smash the the pretzels. I broke it. My battery's gonna die. BRB. Okay, so you need to bake them for eight minutes, flip the pan, two minutes, take them out, put M&Ms in, put them back in for two to three minutes. I skipped that first and second step. I just threw them in for 10 minutes. I'm gonna take them out, put a couple M&Ms in, although you guys just saw, I just used all, that whole bag of um, the big M&Ms, but I do have a bag of holiday mini M&Ms that I had bought as well. So I'm just gonna use some of those, but let's get them out. They are huge, like ginormous. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my God. They're huge, they are huge. Okay, I want you to push a couple M&Ms into each one or whatever. Can you guys even see, kind of? Oh, this is so stressful. Why is it so stressful? They smell good. I can smell like, this is weird. I can smell the saltiness from the pretzels. Addison always says I have a really weird nose. I can get in his truck and tell what he had for lunch the day before. <laughs> can I, babe? No. Oh, it's just, it's just a talent I have. Anyways, okay, good enough, right? There's a hair in my mouth. I don't know, anyways. Back in for another two to three minutes. They are huge, so I'm probably gonna do three minutes. No, I don't know, I don't know, I like chewy cookies. Whatever, let's just get them back in. Ugh. I can't believe how big they are. Okay, couple more minutes, I'm gonna use this. All right, here's the monster cookies all done. 
They look delicious. They taste so good. I just had like a little like breakaway piece of when I had to cut it. Um, Cause they are ginormous and they totally expanded into each other. These are so good. I love oatmeal cookies. Oh my goodness. Okay, so on to the last recipe. We're gonna be making eggnog cookies. I hemmed and hawed between two recipes. They were both called eggnog cookies. One had eggnog in it, the other had none in it. So I don't even know why that would have been called eggnog. Um, it was more of a snickerdoodle, but these, the picture looked much more interesting to me and sounds good and I've never tried it. So for this recipe, obviously again, same similar kind of things, baking powder, baking soda, salt, cream of tartar, nutmeg, flour, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla or rum extract. I don't have that, so we're just gonna do vanilla. Um, eggnog, two eggs, and a cup of butter again, you guys. That is three cups of butter I've just gone through and butter is so expensive, but oh well. Same idea, gonna cream our butter and sugars, then do our dry mix, combine it. This recipe also has to chill for an hour, but um, I'm just gonna cheat and I'll put it outside in the snow for like half an hour. <laughs> That'll cut my time in half. So let's go ahead and get this one going. Okay, got our super soft butter in here. We are gonna add our sugar. So three quarter cup of regular white sugar. One, three, how much brown Oh no, oh yeah. One cup of brown sugar. Oh, I might have to, I'm gonna have to refill this. You guys think I can get a cup out of this? Probably not. Let's see. How much is this? Oh, maybe one. Oh, can I? Oh, you know what, I can. One, two. I can do it, I can do it, but it's gonna need a little more than that. Ta-da, perfect. And then we're gonna add our eggs and our vanilla, the usual, and the eggnog. Don't forget the eggnog. How do I turn this off? I forgot how to turn it off. As if I haven't been using it for 15 years. I have actually on this thing like probably about that long. Um, eggs, eggnog, vanilla. Two eggs, right? Two eggs. Go. That's not very much eggnog. You guys, no. If you really don't like eggnog, I'm sure you can have this recipe. It only wants a quarter cup for the whole thing. So no problemo. Even if you don't like it, I'm sure it's not gonna be that powerful. Vanilla, I'm not gonna measure. <laughs> Set this aside. Another bowl. We're gonna do the dry ingredients. I'm gonna link, oh, hold on. Where was I? this recipe. I'm gonna link all the recipes down below so you guys can go down, check them all out, make them for yourself, whatever. Uh, she is very serious, she has in capitals. Not to scoop your flour, but to spoon it into your measuring cup. And if you guys know me, that's a no-go. <laughs> like, do not pass go, not happening. I will scoop the flour. I don't care what she says, don't tell me what to do. In a bowl. Four cups of flour. That's a lot mess again and I'm scooping it. Sue me. Four. One teaspoon of baking powder. Baking soda. Don't do this to me. Oh good. Salt. No salt. That's very strange. Okay. Cream up tartar. Whatever. And then nutmeg, it calls for one. It says you can use two if you want a stronger flavor. What do you guys think? Banana. I did say banana. I think I'm gonna do a little more. No, I might regret that. Nutmeg's very, a little more, whatever. It's very strong, but. Okay, mix this up. We're gonna 
Mix it all into the big bowl. Is that it? Yes. Then we're gonna chill it. And then, like I said, I'm putting it out in the snow, so it's gonna be like frozen solid in like a split second. Um, I'll bring it back inside and after about half an hour, you roll it into balls and then we're gonna roll it into a, I think it's a nutmeg sugar coating. Yes. Then we bake it and then we're gonna make an icing for this one. So let's mix. I'm not doing this in batches. My heart doesn't care that much. Just dump it all right on in. <laughs> Editing takes time. Take time, take time. Um, oh, back when I worked at, I don't know, one of the hospitals I worked at before, there was a couple patients and they would always say, take time, take time. And every time I hear that now, I just think about them. Take time, take time. They were cute. They were patients we had for a long time, so. <laughs> you really got to know them. Speaking of which, like I really miss how nursing was back then. There was a whole bunch of us like young female nurses. We were like a lot of us were around the same age. I feel like we kind of grew up together. We've all like gone to have like babies and kids now and some of us have left that unit and gone to others. And a few of us have said like those were the good days and we didn't even know it, like of nursing. Because now nursing is crap. This will do. I don't care if it's up to her expectations. <laughs> it's up to mine. We're gonna go chill this right outside in the snow and I'll see you guys in half an hour. Okay, I just brought my, <laughs> hello. Just brought, why did I do this? I dropped the height of my tripod, I don't know why. Just brought the batter in from outside. It's a little frosty. So cold out there. Now, we're gonna roll these into one inch balls, so smaller than the other two cookies I made. And then, we're gonna roll them in a sugar, um, I was gonna say sugar cinnamon, it's sugar nutmeg combination, six tablespoons of sugar with one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg. If you guys think that I actually did one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg and six tablespoons of sugar, you're mistaken. I just did what looked good. <laughs> Give this a little mix. This looks like a beach. It looks like salt with dirt mixed in. Please tell me I'm wrong. No, you can't even tell me I'm wrong. That literally looks like beach sand. Mmm, smells better than beach sand though. Let's, um, this is my smaller scooper. I kind of assume that this is like the one inch scooper and the other one I have is more of a two inch scooper. So roll it and then roll it. It reminds me of a Timbit. Okay, but that, you guys, how cute to roll your cookie in sand. It looks great. <laughs> okay, this is what they look like all rolled in dirt. Just kidding. Nutmeg, sugar. They're ready for the oven. They're going to bake for, I think it said like nine minutes, nine to 10 minutes. And again, with the capitals, do not over bake. Shield, this woman is yelling at me a lot on the website. So anyways, bake those, and I'm gonna roll up a second batch. This made a huge recipe, so there's so much dough. And you guys, oh, do I have any eggnog lovers here? If so, let me know down below. A lot of people don't love it. I think it's delicious, so cheers. All my precious little snowflakes are out of the oven. <laughs> they look like little, like, I don't know, little puff balls. They smell really good. They're giving me apple pie vibes because of that nutmeg. Anyways, they definitely held that round poofy shape. So those ones just came out like seconds ago. These ones have come out and I just have them cooling and they're starting to like, you can see they're starting to deflate. Um, anyways, so now I'm just going to make an eggnog icing topping, drizzle that over top, 
And then you guys, we are done. I just made a little icing to do a drizzle with. Can you guess what the ingredients called for? <laughs> yeah, you figured it out. Icing sugar, nutmeg, and eggnog again. This lady is very um nutmeg happy. Here they are. This side looks so pretty. This side not so much. <laughs> like this side I have that nice thick drizzle lines. See? This side, I don't know what the heck happened. I Oh, I had to make the ice and like another batch of icing. I did it the same way, but maybe, oh, you know what it might've been? Ah, I know what it was. This batch was the one that was already cooled. This was the batch that I had just pulled out. And obviously I didn't let this one cool down enough. Maybe, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. That's my guess. Anyways, they look so cute and festive. Okay, that is all, that is all. I know I've done videos with more recipes, but this one took me longer. These recipes took, I feel like you can only see two, but there's one, two, three. Um, anyways, that is it for today. I am exhausted. I'm gonna go upload the footage, get this edited right now. You guys make sure you go to The Lovely Life. I will link her down below and then go check out the playlist on her channel and there will be lots of other recipes that you guys can check out. So thank you for stopping in here at my channel. I really appreciate it. And um, I don't know, take care guys, happy baking and I'll see you very soon. Bye.